Hello, my good people. And I want to share something with you, something very important and essential. So before I carry on and with the little information I want to drop with us, it's just a very good strategy that we can use to win in the market. Whenever you find the market in such condition, this strategy is going to help you to make some money from the market. Okay? It's very simple. It just requires you to confirm two confirmations only. Once you get these two confirmations, guys, you are good to go. Okay? So it's very, very simple. So let me show you this. Um, Before I carry on, this was a strategy. Same strategy. I used it to release the signal. So I dropped this signal today. You can see the time. I dropped it in my VIP group. And you can see what I've made out of the markets. Okay? So I dropped the signal by um 12.15. And now it's 150, just an hour and and the signal has made us huge amount of money. You can see the lowest loss size of volatility 25 is giving it four dollar. So when I tell you that my signal, I can use it to trade a ten dollar account. This is a confirmation. Okay. So let's go back to the chart. Let me show you what happened and how I got this strategy. So this is a very, very good and nice strategy, very simple to use. In killing volatility in dances so this strategy is as simple as abc okay so what do you need from this strategy guys all you just have to do is guys identify your previous swing either high or low okay identify your most previous swing high or low that is where you can get your support and resistance so these are just what you need to know and how you need to understand so if you look at the chart very well you see your swings you see them occurring okay previously you can see see them occurring you can see your swings all over the place okay so this strategy is very very um powerful okay so previously you can identify that um the market broke at this um zone so this was a resistance here then coming to this place, the market broke it out. You can see that the market broke out um, this support, which now turns to a resistance. So coming to this place again, the market broke it out. So it has been invalidated. So what you got to do next is to watch at the next place where the market is going to drop as a resistance. So if you watch where the market dropped previously, you can testify that the market made the last move up at this very point. So at that very point, what you just have to do is to place your horizontal line, okay? So while pressing your horizontal line, and watch the market move down. So what you're going to do is that you're going to exercise pressure and allow the market to go back to that same point, okay? You're going to allow the market to go back to that same point. Now, guys, this works perfectly where you know that the market for a couple of um, days has been trading in that very direction. Okay, so as you can see that the market, like from um, yesterday, day before yesterday, has tend to push down. See the downward movement. Okay, so now when the market returns back again to that very spot, you don't just make an entry. Because you can make an entry and the market is going to go against you. And when the market goes against you, you'll be like, oh, this strategy doesn't work. But you are the one that failed to keep to the rules and the regulation of the um strategy so one of the rule after you identify your support level or resistance level when you identify a support level or resistance level what you got to do is to wait for the market to go back to that same point again now when market get to that same point and watch you see series of rejections you can see what i call series of rejection you have one two three four and five rejection at that very zone of your resistance okay so try to allow the market to give you a bullish or bearish depending on the direction which you are looking at for it okay allow it to give you a momentum towards the direction you want to go in first these are this is what so many people doesn't um try to understand allow the market to give you a momentum towards the direction you want to go in look at the momentum the last candle gave me the momentum you can see the last candle here gave me the momentum so when the, that momentum comes towards my direction i know that yes this market is going to sell so i have to start going in at the closing of that same candle 
Now, this is another thing that most of you get wrong, guys. When this momentum comes in, allow it to open and close. Don't be too um, in a hurry to jump in. Don't be too in a hurry to jump in. Allow that momentum to come and close. If you have been watching this market closely, if you've traded like for a year or two, or let's say six months time, and you've been so close to your chart, you discover that many times you see the market make this kind of move before the closing of the um, time, the market will reject back again. So that is why I need to exercise passion. Like, what it ha what happened here? So many of you might think that the market has broken up to start going and you jump in. After jumping in, it will reverse back. So you just have to exercise passion for this very strong move to open and close. So once that strong move open and close, which shows you that the market is going to that same direction which you predicted it, then you are going to go in. So when you go in, this is another thing that is very important. Set your stop loss somewhere above this level. So if you watch the signal that I dropped for them in the group, I gave them stop loss at 19.05. So this was my stop loss. Okay. While here is my take profit, which I'm still holding some of my position for it to hit. So if I'm putting out a drawing, I thought I think this is what happened. I went for one is to two. Okay, here I've been in green. Then here I've been in red. So this is actually what I went for in that very thread. Okay, guys. So when you are entering this trade, you have to define your stop loss. And in defining your stop loss so that you don't get hit at why the market to continue to a direction, what you got to do is that we're going to um, set your stop loss a little above that area of your, that zone of your support or resistance. So anywhere you know that this, this place is my zone, this area is my area of support and resistance, the anticipated area, just push your stop loss a little above it. You're not going to keep it so wide, probably so wide. No, you're not going to do that. Because I notice that some of you don't want to lose trade. You just want to win everything. No, you guys, you don't want to win everything. You don't, and you're not going to be able to win everything. So you're going to lose some trade. You're going to um, let the market eat some part of okay, what you have. So what makes you a profitable trader is not that the market is not going to go against you. At a point in time, the market will go against you because no strategy that works 100%. If you understand this, guys, then you are ready to go. Okay, so I will take it again. All you just need to do is to identify your support and resistance for this strategy. Okay, so once you're able to identify your support and resistance for this strategy, that means you are good to go. Okay, so I use the most recent, I use the most recent, okay, support and resistance. So for me, the resistance when I met the market was at this very point. This was the resistance I saw here, while the support was at this very point down here. Okay, so now what is the take? Allow the market to come back to this resistance again. That's number one. Okay, once you identify this resistance, allow the market to come back to the resistance again. Identifying your resistance, number one, it's a size pressure for it to come to that very resistance. Back again. Then, number two, confirmation. Check if you have series of rejections. If you have series of rejections, allow the momentum to push to your direction and once the momentum push to your direction guys it's better you go in late i know some of you might have told me um oh, since you know this why couldn't you enter here why couldn't you enter there is the reason what i'm explaining to you now that is the reason why i'm making this video because i know so many of you already know this strategy but you have been making losses on it okay you have to start patient patient has its role in the market you can make your entries here. At the end of making your entries here, this spike will come in and boom. you get afraid and go out from the market. It will reverse just as it did. It will reverse back again. So you have to allow for the stop hunt to come and go. Then the market will give you momentum in your direction. So once that momentum comes to your direction, guys, you go in. Is it better that you lose this little or that you win this big? So you must find the place of patience and mark and, and trading. Okay, 
you must find the place of passion. I know, yeah, this same thing has occurred here. But guys, I'm not going to go in here. Neither am I going to close the remaining of my position until I see that same momentum going back up again. So when I see that momentum going back up again, then I'll know that this move has been exhausted. Because I don't know if the market is going to um, break this very support I have here or if it's going to hold. For now, the market is just testing it. So I don't know if it will hold or if it's going to break it. So that's why I don't exactly keep um, my take profit at that very point. So I try to shift it a little so that I can watch out and know what the market will do. Okay, guys. Now, remember, you can only do this. You can only do this when you know that you'll be watching the market, but not when you are busy. If you are busy, keep your take profit even a little before the supports. Keep it a little before the support such that if it clicks, you go in with your profits, even if you're not in the market. Okay, so this is the reason why I told you, you have to exercise patience. Even though the market has gotten to your support zone, exercise patience for a moment, uh, momentum for reversal to come. Okay, exercise patience for the momentum for reversal to come. If you do not have that patience, it's going to make you to lose while others are winning. In the same market, which you lose the same market which others are winning. So you must try to make sure that you find a place of patience in trading. It has killed so many people. Number one, patient before entering. Number two, patient when you enter for your strategy to play out, for your setup to play out. Okay? So I know some of you will be like, ah, so this is so easy. But it's not going to be easy when you don't have the right psychology to follow it up. Okay? You just need only two confirmations. The place of support or resistance. When it comes back again, it will give you a series of rejection with a momentum towards your direction. A momentum towards your direction. Series of rejection, a momentum to your direction. We are having the series of rejection. We are waiting for a momentum to our direction. We we'll go in again for a buy. But if that momentum did not come in, then we're expecting it to push down. And if it's pushing down, we're expecting here and here. Okay? So, guys, not to make the video a long one, I'm going to um, pause it here. And for everything that plays out here now, it's going to be the end of the video. But at least I've explained the strategy to you and how to use it on my own aspect, guys. When I comes into the market, I don't need to crack my brain. What I see is what I dread. If what I see in the market is not what I know, is not what I, I love doing, I'm not going to do anything. I walk away. I better that I do not trade for the day than I trade and lost my money. Okay? I prefer not to trade and to lose my money. So these things are the things you guys must understand. You must understand the place of passion, the place of um, consistency, consistency in what you do, in the terms of that, what you know how to do and what you've been doing. You maintain it. Okay? So some of those, my positions have been um, cut off. Yeah. So I've closed up in some profit. So I'm going to um, update the group on what to do. So this is just exactly what I told you guys. If you don't exercise the patient at this very zone for the market to give you momentum in your direction up, that means you're going to go in at the wrong time. And believe me, this move can still be rejected. It's the same thing that happened at this very point can happen again. So whatever thing you are doing in the market, make sure that you wait for the market to act before you react. Until the market acts what you're expecting it to do, do not react. If you react, that means you have been deceived by the market. So do not allow yourself to be deceived by the market, guys. Okay? So it's better that you accumulate your $1 per day than that you lose your um, $20 in a second. Okay? So let's hold on. Okay, guys? As the market plays out. So I just want to share this strategy with you and tell you how it works. So see you guys in the next video. Okay, guys, away, away.